Hey guys, the video I want to talk to you about is ordering something online. Let's take an example. Thermapen uh, makes these great little temperature things. Let me try to show you in a new window. Uh, Thermapen.co.uk Fantastic little devices. There are, there's lots of copies of them, but these are the original UK product. They have like a little metal needle about this size. You put it on uh, pretty much anything, meat, uh, different materials, and it tells you the temperature in a couple of seconds. Really, really good device. So all I wanted to do from Malaysia is, is, make, is order one of these things. So um, obviously when you go to um, a delivery page, you're quickly trying to suss out what is it going to cost um, for delivery. Um, when I search around, I don't know the delivery cost. And this page here that they have, you, there's a lot of um, details here but nothing to do with delivery abroad. That's, that, I mean, we are on the internet here. It's just, it should be international, right? Another thing, obviously, the site is an HTTPS, which doesn't give me any confidence buying, any, buying anything from this site. Okay, let's take a leap of faith and buy the Thermopen 4. Um, oh, we could choose color. Okay, let's just go for this. Okay, so that's one click. I'm, um, yes, I just want to buy it. And then I'm on this page and some other nonsense about some tongs that I don't want. Free UK shipping. Okay, what about Malaysia? And this is what I find really annoying. I, I saw a PayPal uh, badge somewhere on that site before, but now it wants me to register. Um, and, and put in all my details. I mean, if you're using PayPal, you, that's, the, that's the benefit of using PayPal. You don't have to put your address details in here. And again, I am, I'm completely unsure what the delivery charge is for, for Malaysia. Um, and obviously, there's some, some, another step just to see the payment options. So... Yeah, um, this is a typical example, unfortunately, of um, just a terrible e-commerce. It really should be different. You should there should be the product. You, you you do one click. You use something optional, perhaps. I'm not saying use PayPal. You have to use PayPal, but PayPal does have a very good feature in the sense that it knows your address and it knows your payment options. And I like one click and buy it and, and be done with it and get on with my next task. This is a serious headache and almost puts me off purchasing this wonderful product of yours. So I hope you will fix your website.